The 1969 was solidified in history by what Americans had achieved, a successful moon landing. However, the Soviet Union was not standing still, and though the Soviets have fallen behind in the lunar race, the pulp and paper mill, for the first time in the history of USSR, began to produce toilet paper. There was a real achievement of high-tech Soviet industry and economy. Now, the citizens of the nuclear superpower could leave cutting up newspapers for the restroom in the past. Only 80 years later than the capitalists in the United States. But, as they say, better late than never, especially in the matter of wiping your ass. However, not accustomed to Bodge's luxury, the citizens of the USSR did not want to use toilet paper. In order to instill in the minds of the people the concept of the benefits of this marvelous novelty, an extensive advertising campaign was launched. Before every film screening, a so-called magazine was rotated, which colorfully described all the charms of the combined new product. In addition, the chiefs of all large plants were forced to receive 10,000 rolls for distribution. It worked really well, and the toilet paper went to the masses, soon becoming one of the most popular products of the Soviet consumer. The factory was working at the maximum capacity, but still not enough time to provide the whole country with the cherished 54 meters. In times of toilet paper shortages, getting a roll or two was once considered incredible good fortune. Usually people would stand in line and after standing for 3 hours and get the converted rolls which were limited in number, people took as many as they were allowed in one hand. A typical picture of those years is the man walking down the street and on his neck like a necklace hanging on a string rolls of toilet paper. And immediately you realize that you have to rush to this place where they sell it. Struggling with an acute shortage of goods in the mid-70s, no more than 10 rolls was sold to a single consumer. At the same time, meals doubled the production to 67 million rolls per year. It did not help. And only in the 1980s, the urgent problem was solved. That is, full 10 years after the launch of production. However, this scenario, which may seem wild to modern people, was quite common in the Soviet Union. Cues of scarce goods, limited quantities at hand, and perpetual shortage of the most basic consumer goods. All of this is the inevitable result of the failed planned economy of the USSR. In the upcoming videos, we'll elaborate exactly on why that was the case for the Soviet Union, being such an inefficient system and exactly how it functioned. Dear comrades, we are a young channel that needs your support. Consider pressing all those mundane buttons, and remember, Grandpa Joseph is watching you.